Gets for the wingman. Howe and Bynum going up the middle. And Fisher. Even now, Clark, one of the things about seeing the Lakers and the Celtics, you have to think of the great days of magic against Larry Bird. Boy, those two were really something special, weren't they, Kevin? Yes, they were. I mean, just two of the greatest NBA players of all time. Both were in their primes playing for marquee franchises on different sides of the United States, galvanizing fans, creating interest for not only the, the, the passionate, avid fan, but the casual fan as well. It was a tremendous time for anybody who loved basketball at the NBA level. Let's find out what Doris Burke has for us. Hey, Kevin, I caught up with Coach Doc Rivers. When I asked what his approach would be to cracking the stout defense, he said, we have to stay calm and make sure we don't force anything. There will be times this game where we're going to have our scoring droughts, but the key is not to panic and start making silly mistakes. Just play our game. Thank you, Doris. It's really a mindset, Kevin. You want to get into your defensive groove and find a way to stay there for the full game. Back to the magic and bird talk. You know, you have Kobe for the Lakers now, but for the Celtics, Clark, it's much more of a team effort, so you don't have that one star to point to. No, that's a great point, Kevin. You're right. Not quite like the bird magic um, Celtics Lakers teams of the past. I think you can point to their captain, Paul Pierce, though. Now I tend to think a little along the lines of Kobe versus Pierce somewhat. Sure, sure. Mm -hmm. On defense, the Lakers, after the miss from Kevin Garnett. A chance to see Paul Pierce out of Kansas in his 13th season in the NBA. He set new career highs and field goal percentage, three-point percentage, and free throw percentage a season ago. Yeah, it was the second lowest scoring total of his career, but the shots he did take were quality shots. I think Rajon Rondo grew into his role in leading the offense and also scoring in the offense, and that allowed Paul, I think, to choose his spots a little more. That's a great point. Now Garnett. Following the three-point attempt by Kobe Bryant, Bynum is whistled for reaching in. That is his first foul of the game. The Lakers making a switch here. Blake's checked in. Then for the Celtics, O'Neal's checked in. The Celtics on offense. Allen outside. Let's go with a three. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Allen's got his first three points of the game. The Lakers off to a slow start. Searching for their first points of the game. Here's Bynum. And the Lakers with another miss. Moves in a quick start here for the Celtics. Seven point differential. Allen for the three. Rebound by Kobe. On defense, Boston. They lead by seven. And they get it. Here's Bynum. The shot is off. So Boston will take it the other way. They just are having all kinds of problems getting the ball to fall to start this game. Right side, Pierce. Guarded by Blake. And closing the shot, even with the foul. Now the two free throws. They get Steve Blake. Ray Allen, even at his age, is still a sight to behold when he takes that jump shot. Yeah, he really is. He's got one of the sweetest jump shots we've ever seen in the history of the game. As pretty a shot as we'll see. And not just because it looks good, it goes in, too. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. So timeout called here. The first for Los Angeles. 